25 years from now, what are we going to be? Well, assuming civilization is still around, there could be a whole brain interface. AI extension of yourself. Imagine a world where you can simply think about a task and have it executed. How about controlling devices with your thoughts? This isn't a science fiction movie. It's the future of brain-computer interfaces. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, are systems that measure central nervous system activity and convert it into artificial output. This fascinating technology has the potential to replace, restore, enhance, supplement, or improve our natural brain activity. From the simple tasks like answering yes or no questions to controlling basic environmental functions, BCIs are bringing us closer to the world of tomorrow. Now, let's dive a little deeper. BCIs are proving to be invaluable tools, especially for people with disabilities. They're primarily used in assistive technology and neurorehabilitation, providing alternatives for those with severe neuromuscular disabilities who cannot use conventional assistive communication technologies. Imagine being unable to move or communicate and then, with the help of a BCI, regaining some level of independence. It's life-changing. But the applications of BCIs don't stop there. They're also being used for more complex tasks like controlling motorized wheelchairs or robotic arms. It's a space where science and technology meet to create something truly extraordinary. At this point, you might be wondering about the future of BCIs. Well, as our understanding of the brain expands and technology advances, we can expect BCIs to become more sophisticated. They may add value to rehabilitation programs and potentially enhance functional recovery after strokes. Commercialization of BCIs is expected to expand in the coming years, leading to improvements in technology and wider adoption in daily life. In essence, BCIs are not just about technology, they're about improving lives, expanding possibilities, and exploring the unknown. The realm of brain-computer interfaces is vast and full of potential, making it a field ripe for exploration and development. In recent news, there have been significant advances in the field of brain-computer interfaces. These systems, which convert central nervous system activity into artificial output, are becoming more sophisticated and versatile, opening up a world of possibilities for people with severe neuromuscular disabilities. One company making strides in this field is Neuralink, purchased by Elon Musk. Neuralink is developing what they call a whole brain interface, a technology designed to bridge the gap between humans and computers. This could revolutionize how we interact with each other and the world, transforming communication and control applications. Earlier this year, Neuralink announced plans to begin human trials within half a year. The company aims to translate brain signals into digital outputs, essentially allowing people to control devices using their thoughts. Imagine the freedom this could bring to individuals with conditions like Parkinson's disease or depression, restoring a sense of self and autonomy that may have been lost. But it's not all smooth sailing. The very nature of brain-computer interfaces presents potential challenges and concerns. The surgery required for Neuralink's interface is elective, raising ethical and legal questions. There are also concerns about regulation, control, privacy, and security. After all, if our brains are connected to computers, who has access to our thoughts? How do we protect our mental privacy? And then there are the cognitive changes. Brain-computer interfaces have the potential to affect users beyond their intended applications. Changes in personality or sexuality have been mentioned, making this a field that needs careful, thorough questioning of its implications. But despite these challenges, there's no denying the potential of brain-computer interfaces. The global brain implants market, valued at $4.9 billion in 2021, is projected to double by 2030. And with the FDA recently approving Neuralink's human clinical trials, it seems we're on the brink of a new era in brain-computer interface technology. As with any groundbreaking technology, brain-computer interfaces come with their own set of challenges and concerns. But with continued development and thorough investigation, these interfaces could change the lives of countless individuals, offering newfound independence and possibilities. The future of BCIs is not without its hurdles. From ethical to legal challenges, 
The path to integrating this technology into our lives is complex. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, represent a revolutionary leap in technology. Imagine controlling devices with your mind or even communicating thought to thought. This isn't science fiction anymore, but a burgeoning reality. Companies like Elon Musk's Neuralink are already developing whole brain interfaces aiming to connect humans and computers, but with these advancements come a host of ethical and legal challenges that society must grapple with. Take Neuralink's elective surgery for the interface. The idea of voluntarily going under the knife to have a chip implanted in your brain raises a multitude of ethical questions. Who will have access to these procedures? Will they only be available to the wealthy, further increasing the gap between the haves and the have-nots? And what about the potential for coercion, with employers or governments pressuring individuals into getting the implants? Regulation is another thorny issue. Who will oversee the use of BCIs and ensure they're being used ethically? How will we prevent misuse of the technology or protect individuals from potential hacking of their brain data? These questions of control, privacy and security are paramount as we venture into this new frontier. Then there are the potential legal challenges. If a BCI malfunctions and causes harm, who is liable? The user, the manufacturer, the medical professionals involved in the implantation procedure? And what laws will govern the use of these devices? Current legislation is ill-equipped to handle these novel issues. In addition, BCIs can lead to unexpected cognitive changes. These could range from alterations in personality to shifts in sexuality. The potential for such profound impacts on a person's identity only amplifies the ethical and legal considerations surrounding BCIs. These challenges underscore the need for careful consideration and regulation as we move forward with this technology. Despite the exciting potential of BCIs, we must tread carefully, ensuring that we address these issues head-on to safeguard individual rights and societal well-being. The market for brain-computer interfaces is small but growing, with an expected increase in potential users in the coming years. Now, let's dive into the market for brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. Currently, the market is rather niche, primarily catering to medical applications and assistive technologies for individuals with severe neuromuscular disabilities. Despite its limited scope, the market is valued impressively in the billions. However, the potential for growth is immense. With the increasing focus on neurorehabilitation and the advancement of technology, the number of potential users is expected to rise significantly. In fact, the global brain implants market is projected to double by the next decade. BCIs offer a competitive alternative for individuals who can't use conventional assistive communication technologies, enhancing their lives in meaningful ways. For instance, BCIs can empower individuals with paralysis to control motorized wheelchairs or robotic arms, restoring a sense of self and autonomy. Yet the success of BCI applications isn't solely dependent on their functional capabilities. Factors such as convenience, appearance, and ease of use play a substantial role in their adoption. The development of robust dry electrode methods is expected to improve the convenience and aesthetics of EEG-based BCIs, making them more appealing to potential users. Companies like Neuralink are making strides in the BCI space, developing innovative technologies that might revolutionize how we communicate and interact with each other and the world. Even though widespread brain implants for non-medical applications are still several years away from commercialization, these advancements indicate the direction the market is heading. So while the market for BCIs may be small now, it's on the brink of significant expansion. As the technology improves and becomes more accessible, we can expect a surge in the adoption of BCIs. The future of brain-computer interfaces is indeed promising and we're just at the tip of the iceberg. As the technology improves and becomes more accessible, we can expect a surge in the adoption of BCIs. Whole brain interfaces, as the term suggests, aim to connect the entire brain to a computer. But what does that mean for us and our future? Imagine a world where your thoughts can be translated into digital outputs allowing you to control devices, communicate, and even interact with the world around you. 
This concept, known as whole brain interfaces, is more than just a science fiction dream. It's a burgeoning field of study, spearheaded by companies like Neuralink that aims to revolutionize the way we live. Whole brain interfaces are a type of brain computer interface, or BCI. They aim to measure central nervous system activity and convert it into artificial output. This can enhance or even replace natural CNS output, leading to a wide range of potential applications. From answering yes or no questions to controlling motorized wheelchairs or robotic arms, the possibilities are vast. But the implications of whole brain interfaces go far beyond these practical uses. Imagine being able to control your computer or smartphone with just your thoughts, or being able to communicate with others without speaking a word. The potential for seamless, almost telepathic communication could change the way we interact with each other and the world. The future of whole brain interfaces is also expected to have a significant impact on the medical field. For individuals with severe neuromuscular disabilities, whole brain interfaces could provide a new means of communication and control. This could enable them to lead more enjoyable and productive lives, restoring a sense of self and autonomy. However, this technology is not without its challenges. The surgical procedures required for whole brain interfaces are elective, raising ethical and legal questions. There are also concerns about privacy, security, and the potential for cognitive changes beyond their intended applications. Despite these challenges, the market for whole brain interfaces is expected to expand in the coming years. With improved technology and wider adoption, whole brain interfaces could become an integral part of our daily lives. Whole brain interfaces may well be the next frontier in our ongoing quest to merge man and machine. Let's dive into some of the latest developments in the field of whole brain interfaces. In the realm of neurotechnology, Elon Musk's startup Neuralink has been making waves. Neuralink is developing a technology that aims to translate brain signals into digital outputs, essentially allowing people to control devices with their thoughts. The initial focus of this technology is on medical use cases, aiming to restore a sense of self and autonomy for individuals with conditions like Parkinson's disease or depression. However, Musk envisions a future where this technology has mainstream adoption. Earlier this year, Neuralink received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to conduct human clinical trials. This signifies that Neuralink has passed safety preclinical testing and bench testing, a significant step forward in the development of this technology. These trials will connect the brain to a computer using electrode-laced wires with the goal of helping people with paralysis or traumatic brain injuries communicate and control a computer using their thoughts. The approval of these human trials doesn't mean, however, that widespread brain implants are right around the corner. Realistically, Neuralink's device is expected to take at least five to ten years to reach the market. This timeline is due to the complexity of the technology and the rigorous testing and refinement needed to ensure safety and efficacy. While the concept of whole brain interfaces may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, the reality is that this technology is inching closer to becoming a part of our everyday lives. With each passing year, we see more advancements in this field, bringing us one step closer to a future where our brains can directly interact with the digital world. The future of whole brain interfaces is exciting, with each development bringing us one step closer to this revolutionary technology. As we look ahead, the potential future of whole brain interfaces is both thrilling and daunting. This revolutionary technology, which seeks to create a seamless link between our minds and machines, could transform how we communicate and interact with each other and the world at large. Imagine a world where the barriers of language and physical distance are non-existent. A world where you can share thoughts, ideas, and experiences with anyone, anywhere, at any time. That's the promise of whole brain interfaces. They could potentially make the world a smaller, more connected place. But it's not just about communication. Whole brain interfaces could fundamentally change how we interact with our environment. We could control devices with our thoughts, from turning on the lights to navigating a drone. This could bring newfound independence and autonomy to individuals with severe neuromuscular disabilities, enhancing their quality of life in ways we can barely imagine today. However, 
This brave new world isn't without its challenges. As we inch closer to making whole brain interfaces a reality, we must grapple with a host of ethical and legal questions. Who gets to access this technology? How do we prevent misuse? And how do we protect our thoughts, the most private part of us, from intrusion and manipulation? Moreover, there are concerns about the potential societal impact. Could whole brain interfaces deepen the digital divide, creating a chasm between those who can afford this technology and those who can't? Could they alter our sense of self and autonomy, making us feel more like machines than humans? These are complex questions with no easy answers, but they're questions we must confront head-on if we're to navigate the future of whole brain interfaces responsibly and ethically. The future of whole brain interfaces is undoubtedly fascinating, and as we continue to make strides in this field, we move closer to a future where our thoughts can directly interact with the digital world. From aiding those with disabilities to potentially revolutionizing the way we interact with the digital world, brain-computer interfaces hold immense potential. This is where we began our journey into the fascinating world of brain-computer interfaces or BCIs and whole brain interfaces, and it's only the beginning. We've witnessed the recent developments in BCIs, how they've been instrumental in assisting individuals with disabilities, enhancing their quality of life, and granting them a degree of autonomy they might not have had otherwise. We've looked at the groundbreaking work being done by companies like Neuralink, aiming to create a whole brain interface that could potentially redefine human-computer interactions. We've also delved into the ethical and legal challenges that come with this territory. The questions it raises about privacy, security and regulation, the potential risks and implications of elective surgeries for such interfaces, and the need for thorough scrutiny and questioning of its impact on society. We've explored the burgeoning market for these interfaces, currently valued at billions of dollars and projected to double in the coming years. Despite its limited size at present, with the focus on rehabilitation and assistive technologies, the potential user base for BCIs is expected to grow. When we look at whole brain interfaces, we're staring at the future of BCIs. As ambitious as it sounds, the idea of connecting the human brain to a computer, translating brain signals into digital outputs, and vice versa, could open a world of possibilities, from helping people with paralysis or traumatic brain injuries to communicate, to controlling devices with thoughts alone. The applications are staggering. The journey, however, is far from over. As we continue to research, develop, and refine these technologies, we're bound to find more uses, face more challenges, and in the process, learn more about the most complex organ in our bodies, the brain. As we continue to explore and innovate, the possibilities of what we can achieve with brain-computer interfaces are limitless. Indeed, the exploration of the final frontier begins not in the vast expanse of space, but within the confines of our own skulls. Enjoyed your journey into the AI Future Hub? Support us by click subscribe, hit like, share it around, keep the future at your fingertips. Loop in, don't miss out.